Perfect. Are you reading the Lyme, Lyme disease? He's with the Lyme disease. Okay. So this meeting is now in session. Please rise for a moment of reflection, followed by the pledge. In that reflection, if you would please uh, cons uh, think of the families of uh, our longtime friend, Jean Ward, who was a Marine veteran, longtime precinct committee uh, man, and a former Maryville Police Commissioner. And uh, Jean Bro, who Indiana State Representative of the state senator, 34th district. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. First district, David Ham. Here. Second district, Ronald Brewer. Here. Third district, Charlie Brown. Here. Fourth district, Pete Lindholder. Present. Fifth district, Christine Sid. Here. Sixth district, Ted Tosky. Here. Seventh district, Brandy Meyer. Present. Uh, minutes of the March 12th meeting. Motion to approve. Okay. Motion has been made and seconded. All in, uh, any discussion? All in favor, signify by aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Awards and resolutions. Madam Chair, uh, I have a proclamation honoring uh, Lake County Councilman Cloria Slay. I, I make a motion to approve proclamation honoring Lake County Councilman Cloria Slay. Second. Motion's been made in second. Thank you. Whereas Cloria L. Lay was a brilliant lawyer, dedicated politician, and devoted family man. And whereas Florius L. Lay had many accomplishments, including being named a Distinguished Hoosier in 2001, the Sagamore of the Wabash Award in 2017, receiving the key to the city of Gary, and the Golden Hoosier Award in 2023. Through the 1960s and 70s, Florius L. Lay was active in Gary's civil rights movement, working with the late Mayor Richard Hatcher and was instrumental in helping bring the Black National Political Convention to Gary in 1972. And whereas prior to joining the Lake County Council in 2023, Mr. Lay served as an at-large councilman on the Gary Common Council. In the early 1990s, he served in Gary's first elected school board, and he also served four terms on the Calumet Township Board. And whereas Clorius L. Lay commanded the respect of all who knew him for his dedication, integrity, and hard work. He was an outstanding civic and community leader, recognized as such by all who worked with him. And whereas Clorius L. Lay demonstrated in his life and his relations with fellow human beings, the highest of ideals and personal commitment to his God and to the betterment of all mankind. And whereas the citizens of Lake County have been deeply saddened by the death of Lake County Councilman Clorius L. Lay. Now, therefore, the Lake County Council hereby honors Lake County Councilman Clorius L. Lay for his meritorious service to the citizens of Lake County and for his lasting legacy to his community. The Lake County Council hereby recognizes and memorializes the passing of our very dear friend, 
Lake County Councilman Clorius L. Lay. A copy of this proclamation shall be spread on the official records of the Lake County Council, and an official copy shall be delivered to the family of Clorius L. Lay, dated this date, 9th day of April, 2024, signed by Christine Sid, Council President, Dave Ham, uh, Randy Niemeyer, Pete Linda Mulder, Charlie Brown, Ted Bilski, and Ron Brewer. So I present this to you and want to tell you I, I become really good friends with your grandfather. He was one of my favorite people to uh, to be around. He's your Harrison. Right? He, he talked about you all the time. You were his best buddy. So carry on his legacy. I know you'll do a great job in your life. The Torius his grandfather has spent so much time with him. Uh, I really appreciated the small amount of time that I got to get to know Torius. So uh, it was a blessing to have him as part of our team here, much more than a the friend. All in favor, signify by aye. Aye. Uh, opposed? Motion passes 7-0. Anyone else have any words they like to hear? This is his daughter. Yeah, this is, that's his daughter. This is uh, Con Consulman Lay's daughter and his uh, grandson, Harrison, who he's always spoke very well of. I think it was his proudest thing in life to uh, his family, most cherished. Thank you for being here today. Do you have any words? Oh, we just want to tell you thank you very much for this great honor um, and recognition of my father. We do greatly appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Next on the agenda, resolution recognizing Lyme disease awareness. Madam Chair, I make a motion to approve resolution 2416. It's a resolution recognizing May as Lyme Disease Awareness Month. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Madam Chair, I'm just going to read thereof uh, that the Lake County Council does hereby recognize May as Lyme Disease Awareness Month. And it be further resolved that the Lake County Council calls upon all the residents to learn about the importance of tick avoidance and personal protection, tick detection, removal, and signs and symptoms of tick-borne illnesses, and in need to prompt diagnosis and treatment of the Lyme disease. Uh, I so move. Do we vote on We didn't vote yet? Yes, okay. Uh, it's been made, motioned, and seconded. All in favor, signify by aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Madam Chair, just one quick thing. It's also important to pass on about the pets. There's been an outbreak uh, for your canines at uh, some deer migration changes. So the Lyme disease rise has been up. You can talk to your vet. There's uh, additional inoculations you can get for uh, tick borne diseases, but the Lyme disease has been on the rise. So not only for especially children and folks over 40, uh, the rest of the guys are probably pretty safe in there, but it's. <laughs> Yeah, so anytime you're out in the woods, uh, Boy Scouts camping, what, what you know, check, check your uh, body uh, for those ticks. And if you do, you should find a tick or you find that ring, you should go to immediately to the doctor. All right, Calumet Township, any acknowledgements? Madam Chair, maybe just the group that's here. Uh, I'd like to thank all the union members. I see every laborers, different crafts, uh, not just law enforcement in support of one another. And I truly appreciate that and thanks for coming up. Um, I also have one. It is Marion Ivey, the commissioner's secretary. She is now the uh, Gary Common Council at large. Uh, yes, she replaced uh, Councilman yeah. Brewer. So I want to congratulate her. Okay, Calumet Township Assessor, Councilman Bilski. Madam Chair, no action on A. Item B, I make a motion to approve ordinance amending the Lake County 2024 salary ordinance uh, 1488 and NORA recognizing physicians in the Calumet Township Assessor's Office. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Discussion? 
Roll call, please. Pam? Yes. Brewer? Yes. Brown? Yes. Linda Mulder? Yes. Yes. Niemeyer? Yes. Yes. Motion passes 7 0. Motion to suspend. Second. Motion has been made to suspend with the rules and seconded. Roll call, please. Brewer? Yes. Brown? Yes. Linda Mulder? Yes. Doski? Yes. Niemeyer? Yes. Pam? Yes. Sid? Yes. Motion passes 7 0. Second reading. Madam Chair, make a motion to approve on second reading. Second. Motion's been made and seconded to approve the ordinance on second reading. Discussion? Roll call, please. Brown? Yes. Linda Mulder? Yes. Bilski? Yes. Niemeyer? Yes. Pam? Yes. Brewer? Yes. Sid? Yes. Motion passes 7 0. Okay. Lake County Auditor, Councilman Hamm. Madam Chair, I move for a revised 144 in the Auditor's Office. One two three zero six dash zero zero one controller of finance currently at one twelve six seventy five proposed at one sixty for a difference of forty seven three twenty five. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Discussion. Discussion. Uh, this position was created as a result of our well publicized uh, struggles with some of our. Uh, financial accountability as it relates to the the audit that was attempted to be performed here um, earlier but, or last year by the State Board of Accounts. So I just want to make sure that was clear for the record that this is not an add-on of, of a position that didn't have a specific reason tied to it. And there was a position eliminated as well to make to uh, Okay. Um, any further discussion? Roll call, please. Linda Mulder? Yes. Bill yes. Niemeyer? Yes. Pam? Yes. Brewer? Yes. Brown? Yes. Sid? Yes. Motion passes 7 0. Superior Court. Councilman Ham. <coughs> Move for approval of a grant application and approval in Indiana, Indiana Supreme Court 2024 Adult Guardianship Grant Renewal Award. As a pass through agency to facilitate Franciscan Health Foundation's provisional provision of a grant funded volunteer advocates for seniors and incapacitated adults program services. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Discussion? Roll call. I mean, all in favor signify by aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Criminal courts. Criminal courts. Department 3002, I move for a re approval for a revised 144, effective March 1st of this year. 11221-001, Director of Probation, currently at 103599 proposed at 94399 for a difference of a savings of $9,200. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Discussion? <laughs> Roll call, please. Bilski? Yes. Niemeyer? Yes. Pam? Yes. Brewer? Yes. Brown? Yes. Linda Mulder? Yes. Sid? Yes. Motion passes 7 0. Madam Chair, in Superior Court for Department 4001, I move for approval of grant application and approval. Indiana Supreme Court 2025 Problem Solving Court Drug Court Grant Renewal Application. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Discussion? All in favor, signify by aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. In room three of the Superior Court, which is Department 4004, move for appro approval of creating a new line item 62230 clothing. Second. Motion's been made and second for the creation of a new line item. Discussion? Roll call, please. Niemeyer? Yes. Pam? Yeah. Brewer? Yes. Brown? Yes. Linda Mulder? Yes. Bilski? Yes. Sid? Yes. Motion passes 7 0. Chair, I move for a transfer in the same department from 62110 office supplies, $500 to 62230 clothing in the same amount. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for approval of a transfer. Discussion? All in favor signify by aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. 
I'm Chair in Juvenile Court 4005. I move for approval of a grant renewal application in the Indiana Supreme Court 2025 Family Recovery Grant Renewal Application. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for approval of the grant application. Discussion? All in favor signify by aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. I move for approval of a grant application, the Indiana Criminal Justice Institute for Ju Juvenile Community Alternatives grant application. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for approval of a grant application. Discussion? All in favor signify by aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. I move for approval of a grant application from Geminis Corporation, a regional care group member, community based child abuse neglect prevention grant application. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for grant application from Geminis Corporation. Discussion? Discussion. Yes. Uh, recently, it was publicized the, uh, that Geminis is involved in. There's a bit of a, a scandal with one of the employees. Does this have any impact to we know on? You know, that's maybe, maybe since Jean Ann's not here, can't be answered, but I want to make sure that that question was asked. Uh, I, I, I know that recently in the paper that was brought up. I want to say like a 600. No, I don't believe this has any bearing on that. Thank you. All in favor signify by aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Lake County Sheriff. Councilman Brown. Madam a precedent. I move for the creation of a new line item in the Lake County Sheriff's uh, 2023 Project Safe Neighborhoods Grants Fund 8349. Second. Do you want to read the line item with, for the record? Other. Oh, yeah. Not, uh, 93190 other professional services. Okay, thank you. Motion's been made and seconded. 6319. Okay, yeah, 6319. Okay. Um, discussion? Roll call, please. Sam? Yes. Brewer? Yes. Brown? Yes. Linda Mulder? Yes. Bilski? Yes. Niemeyer? Yes. Sid? Yes, motion passes 7 0. Madam President, I move for an appropriation to the Lake County Sheriff's 2023 Project Safe Neighborhoods Grant Fund 8449, uh, item 93193. I'm sorry, 63190, <laughs> other professional services in the amount of $29,730.10. You must have looked at that sun yesterday without any safety glasses. <laughs> second. Motion has been made and seconded. Discussion? Roll call, please. Brewer? Yes. Brown? Yes. Linda Mulder? Yes. Bilski? Yes. Niemeyer? Yes. Pam? Yes. Sia? Yes. Motion passes 7 0. Ordinance? Yes. I move for an ordinance establishing the Lake County Sheriff's Federal Justice Assistance Grant. Pass through award grant a grant fund, a non reverting fund. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Discussion? Roll call, please. Brown? Yes. Linda Mulder? Yes. Bilski? Yes. Niemeyer? Yes. Am? Yes. Brewer? Yes. Seed? Yes. Motion passes 7 0. Suspension? So moved. Second. Motion has been made a second to suspend. Roll call, please. Linda Mulder? Yes. Bilski? Yes. Niemeyer? Yes. Ham? Yes. Brewer? Yes. Brown? Yes. Sid? Yes. Motion passes 7 0. Councilman Brown, you want second reading? I'm sorry. Second reading. I'll move for a, a second reading on this ordinance. So. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for, appro to, for approval on second reading. Discussion? Roll call, please. Silski? Yes. Niemeyer? Yes. Ham? Yes. Brewer? Yes. Brown? Yes. Linda Mulder? Yes. Sid? Yes. Motion passes 7 0. Animal control. 
Madam President, I move for the creation of a new line item for the Lake County Animal Shelter and Non Diverting Fund 4163. Uh, line 63610, Building and, and Structure. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for creation of a new line item. Discussion? Roll call, please. Neymeyer? Yes. Pam? Yeah. Brewer? Yes. Brown? Yes. Linda Mulder? Yes. Bill? Yes. Steve? Yes. Motion passes 7 0. Madam President, I move for an appropriation uh, for the Lake County Animal Shelter Shelters Non Reverting Fund 4163, uh, line item 63610, Building and Structure. structure in the amount of $35,000. Okay. Motion has been made and seconded to approve an appropriation. Discussion? Roll call, please. Pam? Yes. Brewer? Yes. Brown? Yes. Linda Mulder? Yes. Bill Steve? Yes. Niemeyer? Yes. Steve? Yes. Motion passes 7 0. For suspension? No. Uh, you don't need a suspension One, on that. Yeah. Part two. Juvenile Detention Center. Uh, Madam President, uh, Councilman Brown. Sorry, I should wait for you to. No, you're you're good. I don't want to be out of order. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, uh, line four 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 one four four general fund one zero 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 effective April eighth eight. 2024. Uh, line 12543-002 therapist presently at $53,697 proposed $44,344 for a difference of $9,353. You can read them all. Yeah. You can do all them all. Yeah, you can do them all. One, two, two, one, one, two, three, three, dash zero, zero, one, security supervisor slash training coordinator at a present salary of forty six thousand seven hundred and ninety dollars, proposed fifty thousand seven hundred and ninety dollars for a difference of four thousand dollars. One one two three one dash zero zero one and education department head uh, presently at forty six thousand seven hundred ninety dollars uh, proposed forty nine thousand seven hundred ninety dollars for a difference of three thousand dollars and finally one two five four four dash zero zero two the nurse. Presently at $45,352, proposed $47,705 for a difference of $2,353. I assume. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Discussion? Roll call, please. Brewer? Yes. Brown? Yes. Linda Mulder? Yes. Bilski? Yes. Niemeyer? Yes. Pam? Yes. Sid? Yes, motion passes 7 0. Nobody's here from juvenile or. I don't see him online. I can't see that. I, I won't waste much time to say that uh, Friday we had a great walk through. Uh, our congressman showed up. We had uh, uh, Napoleon, uh, Terry Napoleon showed up there. We did the walk through. We had a, a really good thing. And our grant, I was just advised this morning, everything went off without a hitch, Scott. Uh, yes, yesterday it was in the portal, so we should be getting the grant for the vertical farms and part of it to get it started, get shovels in the ground and uh, beginning vegetables to uh, food pantries here, hopefully within months. Great. Thanks. All right, Lake County Prosecutor. Madam President, I move for an appropriation from the Prosecutor's Elderly Abuse Fund 8127. 63231 travel registration in the amount of $6,500. 63232 travel meals in the amount of $2,000. Uh, 63233 travel lodging, the amount of $7,500. 
63234 travel transportation other in the amount of $10,000, 63235 travel mileage in the amount of $1,000, 64420 office machines in the amount of $6,807.84 for a total of $33,807.84. So motion's been made and seconded. Discussion? Roll call, please. Brown? Yes. Linda Mulder? Yes. Yes. Niemeyer? Yes. Pam? Yes. Brewer? Yes. Steed? Yes. Motion passes 7 0. Now, Madam President, I move to approve a resolution permitting the Office of the Prosecuting Attorney to pay an outstanding 2023 invoice or debt in the amount of $25 from the 2024 budget. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Discussion? All in favor, yes. signify by aye. Yes, aye. Madam yes. President. At this study session, I suggested that the prosecutor pay that out of his pocket, $25. <laughs> Was that recommendation made to the prosecutor? I, I did not get a chance to run it by him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Any further discussion? All in favor, signify by oh. Roll call, please. Linda Mulder. Yes. Yes. Niemeyer. Yes. Pam. Yes. Brewer. Yes. Brown. Reluctantly, yes. Steer. Yes. Motion passes 7 0. Um, Madam President, I move to approve a grant application and grant approval for the Grant Oversight Committee for um, the presentation of the fiscal 2024 IDOC CCJR grant agreement. Second. There's a motion. There's a motion, and it's been seconded. Discussion. All in favor, signify by aye. 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 Opposed. Motion passes seven zero. Uh, Madam President, also move to approve the grant application and grant approval uh, for community corrections uh, from the Indiana Department of Health COVID nineteen detection and confinement grant award. Second. Okay. Motion's been made and seconded. Discussion. All in favor, signify by aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Economic development. Madam President, I move for the adoption of a grant application uh, from the U.S. Department of Energy, Energy Efficiency, and Conservation Block Grant Program. Grant application for the economic development department. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for grant application approval. Discussion. All in favor, signify by aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion passes 7-0. Thank you. Okay. Hobart Township Assessor. Madam Chair, I make a motion to approve an appropriation from the general fund line item 63730 property rental in the sum of $957.12. Okay. Motion has been made and second for an appropriation from the general fund. Discussion? Roll call, please. Bilski? Yes. Niemeyer? Yes. Pam? Yes. Brewer? Yes. Brown? Yes. Lincoln Mulder? Yes. Feud? Yes. Motion passes 7 0. Lake County Commissioners, Councilman Ham? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, move for approval of an ordinance establishing the Lake County Commissioners. Uh, Monsanto Class Action Settlement Fund, a non reverting fund. Motion's been made and seconded. Discussion? Roll call, please. Niemeyer? Yes. Pam? Yeah. Brewer? Yes. Brown? Yes. Linda Mulder? Yes. Bilski? Yes. Yes. Motion passes 7 0. We'll just suspend the rule. Second. Motion's been made and seconded to suspend with rules. Roll call, please. Pam? Yes. Brewer? Yes. Brown? Yes. Linda Mulder? Yes. Bilski? Yes. Niemeyer? Yes. Seed? Yes. Motion passes 7 0. Motion for approval and second reading. Second. Motion's been made and seconded for approval and second reading. Discussion? Roll call, please. Brewer? Yes. Brown? Yes. Linda Mulder? Yes. Bilski? Yes. Meyer. Yes. Pam. Yes. Steed. Yes. Motion passes 7-0. Madam Chair, move to create a new line item in the uh, Monsanto mm -hmm. Class Action Settlement Fund 4013 638 
three zero matching funds. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Create a new line item. Discussion. Uh, Roll call, please. Uh, yes. How will this these funds be distributed? We have not gotten uh, an indication from the commissioners on that. My understanding is there's no limitation on it, and it's a distribution to cities and towns. Mm -hmm. Oh, it goes directly to cities and towns? Through, through the commissioner's office, yes. Thank you. All right. Um, any further discussion? Roll call, please. Brown? Yes. Linda Mulder? Yes. Bilski. Yes. Niemeyer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Brewer. Yes. Steed. Yes. Motion passes seven zero. Move to approve the appropriation from the Lake County Commissioners on forty thirteen six three eight three zero, which is matching funds six million three hundred and thirty one thousand one hundred and fifty two dollars. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for an appropriation. Discussion. Roll call, please. Linda Mulder. Yes. Bill Steve. Yes. Niemeyer. Yes. Sam. Yes. Brewer. Yes. Brown. Yes. Sid. Yes. Motion passes 7 0. Resolution, Councilman Ham. Move for approval of resolution permitting the Lake County Council to pay a 2023 invoice in the amount of $54.10 from the 2014 budget. 2024. 2024. <laughs> yeah, that one's closed out. Second. <laughs> Motion's been made and seconded to approve a resolution. Discussion? I'll, roll call, please. Bilski. Yes. Niemeyer. Yes. Ham. Yes. Brewer. Yes. Brown. Yes. Linda Mulder. Yes. Seed. Yes. Motion passes 7 0. Next item, the county council. council Madam Bilski. chair, it's time to get into phase 2 on the uh, vertical indoor gardening and uh, asking for approval to approve the master service agreement. Uh, executed between the Lake County Council, Indiana and Baker Tilly. Uh, US LLP for grant research in advance of all relating to these last 2 that we've been getting and to sustain this. Uh, we'll need to continue the search for those grants in order to keep it up and running. So, okay. okay. Motion's been made and seconded. Any further discussion? I want to thank Scott for assisting Baker and Tilly and uh, our procedure for um, applying for grants. I'm sorry, let me make my correction. That was the US LLP for the, for the record, the first one. Oh, yes, correct. Uh, okay. I stand corrected. So <laughs> it's still both Baker Tilly. Yeah, it's still both Baker. Uh, but still seeking approval. And this is for the uh, US LLP for grant research and advising. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, all in favor, signify by aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion passes seven zero. Madam Chair, now this time I'd ask for approval for the contract, the master service agreement between uh, Lake County, Indiana, and Baker Tilly. Uh, this is the Urban Agricultural and Innovative Production Grant Writing Services. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Discussion. All in favor, signify by aye. 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 Opposed. Motion passes 7 0. Madam Chair, for approval of the Urban Agriculture and Innovative Production Com Competitive Grant Program. Um, no, second. Yep. Yeah. Kind of self explanatory. Motion has been made and <laughs> seconded for approval of a grant application. Discussion. All in favor, signify by aye. 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 Opposed. Motion passes 7 0. I'm going to. Uh, I believe from the consensus at the study session, we are going to, uh, it was requested we defer the appointment to the outsourced. Madam Chair, I'll make a motion to suspend until the uh, May meeting. Postpone. Postpone. <laughs> postpone to the May meeting. Is there a second? Second. Motion has been made and seconded to postpone with the appointment to the Lake County Health Board. Mm -hmm. All in favor, signify by aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Oh. 
Any councilmen have anything they would um, like to say? I have a statement I would like to read um, regarding the gentlemen and women that are here today. Uh, when the process 10 months ago began, the Lake County Sheriff's Department came to the negotiation table with an initial request of 28% pay raise over three years. The Lake County Council Negotiation Committee was made up of the late Gloria Slay, Councilman Randy Niemeyer, and myself, Council President Christine Sitt. In considering the first request made by the Sheriff's Department, the Council Committee asked the Sheriff's Department negotiating team what their priorities were, which they explicitly identified as increased wages. In collaboration with the Sheriff's Department Association, we began evaluating all the various pieces of the compensation package to see if it was possible to meet the 28% request. From that point forward, we realized that no matter how much was changed, in other parts of the package, we cannot meet a 28% wage increase request without making other impactful changes to the structure of the Sheriff's Department. We believe this would jeopardize the ability of our law enforcement to do the necessary work to keep our community safe. Over the following months, we worked together with the association to try and strike the correct balance necessary to provide the highest possible wage increase while maintaining the integrity of the sheriff's department's budget. Throughout the negotiation period, various offers were made by the council committee, reflecting a concerted effort to maintain budget integrity while providing a three-year contract that the count taxpayers could realistically pay for without having potential autisory measures if faced with an economic downturn. The most recent offer before mediation provided by the council committee included a pay increase of 5% for 2024, 4% for 2025 and the estimated levy growth quotient for 2026. An estimated 12% over three years. At this time, the four members of the Sheriff's Association negotiation team said they would take it back to their union membership for consideration. In exchange for the offer, the council requested that department's overtime policy be applied after 84 hours for those working 12 hour shifts paid biweekly and 80 hours for those working eight hour shifts paid biweekly. The current practice is for overtime to be applied daily after working eight or 12 hour shifts depending on which division, division an officer is in. It was also requested by the county committee that when an officer comes into work during their scheduled paid vacation, up to eight weeks, or they're paid 12 or 10 sick days, the benefit day would be returned to the officer as opposed to having their shift be applied to the overtime pay scale, time and a half. The current practice creates a double time and a half pay for every day they worked during their vacation. The total overtime budget for 2024 cost taxpayers an estimated 1.2 million for this year alone. Throughout this process, the council committee negotiated in good faith, following the rules agreed upon in our first bargaining session. The deliberations were confidential 
and not to be shared with anyone outside of the committee and our legal counsel. The Lake County Council has upheld this agreement until now, following the release of confidential information that was part of mediation by the Sheriff's Association. Despite this breach of the agreed upon rules, the council remains committed to keeping the Lake County Sheriff's Department among the highest compensated police agencies in Northwest Indiana. Maintaining its top tier benefits package while providing state of the art equipment and training for its officers and maintaining a commitment to long term budgetary sustainability for the hardworking taxpayers of Lake County. And I also want to note it that uh, just as recently as Friday morning, an, off, uh, an offer was uh, given to the uh, president of the union for an increase of 5% for 2024, 4% for 2025, and 4% for 2026. Thank you. Your public comment? Public comment. Well, do any of my... Any of my colleagues have anything they would like to I'd say? I'd first like to hear what the sheriff and the... Well, uh, first I want to thank the uh, FOPs that are here, the union members, retirees, uh, supporting all the uh, men and women of the Lake County Sheriff's Department. Although I may disagree with your numbers, uh, Councilman said, uh, the 12 hour shifts, we showed you the chart. When we went from eight hour to 12 hour shift, it dropped our overtime dramatically. So we're, the numbers that you're getting is absolutely wrong. We are this close in getting the contract signed. I think most of the council people are in favor of what we want to do. One of the things that you offered at the last minute, now that you brought it up here, was about the 544, and uh, you also brought up about uh, having the 12 hour uh, officers go, uh, if they got 10 days off, going by hours, which will reduce their days off by six days compared to. Uh, or it will give them only six days off compared to those on eight hour shift to have a 10, uh, 10 days off. So we are very close. I spoke with you, uh, like I did with the councilwoman. Uh, I thought that went very well. I think we understood each other and I thought the contracts were good. We're going to move forward. Uh, I thought we were in agreement and I don't know what happened after that. And, uh, uh, we're, we're ready to move forward. I don't think it's much to ask for. Uh, we're in agreement with the raises. I think it's, Councilwoman, you with the numbers of uh, the 12 hours, I put the officers, I made that decision against the contract because I'm authorized to do so for emergency situations. It brings up morale, more days off for the officers and puts more officers out on the road. And the officers supported that. And that's what we're trying to change in the uh, into the contract. And the union is supporting it. So it's not really them you should be upset with, it's me. But as an administrator, we feel that that is the best option. It dropped overtime. I don't know where you're coming from that increased overtime. Thank you very much. Any anyone else in the council have any words to say? No further comments. Oh, can, I, oh. can I say some? Yes. Uh, first of all, thank you for the time. Thank you to my brothers and sisters, my union card carrying people for coming out. I really appreciate it. Uh, just to comment on that, I feel like we are close, but every single percent in offer has been a reduction to us PTO time, a tax to our pension. I think that's ridiculous. And I, I just feel like it's 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 not about politics, it's about paychecks. That's it. Just make it fair, you know? When we get mocked during uh, negotiations when Tony Overholt wears an oversized jumbo t-shirt with a pay graph on it, given to him by a member of your negotiating team and laughs at us. And two council members sit in there and don't say a word and let us get pretty much laughed at. And well, it's, it's, it's been disappointing. And our value has been shown. When you, we're not St. John, we're not Crown Point, we're not Lowell, we're the county police, and we would like our county council to pay us as, as we are your police. So thank you. <laughs> Any further comments? Any further comments? I wonder, I just a question. What would it take to bring this to a conclusion? I mean, I, I believe we made a fair offer. I mean, asking someone to put their, I mean, highway department 
they work 10 hour shifts. They take their, they take, and so does, I believe some of the other departments, they take their personal time and they trans they, they convert it to hours instead of days, because is it fair for the guy who works eight hours to use a personal day? The guy who works 12 hours use a personal day, but one's paid eight hours and the other one's paid 12 hours for that day. You know, that's the way personal time off is, has a value of eight work hours. Eight, eight hours, not work hours, eight hours. So they're, they want, they want every, I believe they want 10, they're saying 10 or 12 days, but they want to get paid 12 hours for that day. My suggestion is to do what every other department does and you convert it into hours. You, it's, you have, it's 10, 10 days is equal to 80 hours. Madam President. Yes, I, I don't think it's fair to try to negotiate a contract I agree. Here on the floor. I would like to recommend strongly that the negotiating team, and since uh, Councilman Lay is no longer here, I would gladly join that negotiating team and get back to the table to try to resolve the differences. All right. Any further comments? I just, I, I just, when it goes to mediation, and I know that it's there for a reason, mediation. But I think it's unfortunate that we have to get to that with our own police department. I really do. Well, they, you know, we were at the table. Well, I thought that day that we were going to come to an agreement, and the union said we want to go to mediation. So okay. So then they asked that um, they requested us to come back to the table, even though mediation was still on the table. And we did. Randy and I agreed to meet with them. We have always been cooperative and sitting down at the table. Okay. Manager, if I could, yes. Um, it's my understanding that the current wage increase that's on the table been agreed upon on all sides is 5%, 4%, 4%. Is that true? Well, they I, haven't. I, I mean, concur no, with I, that. Ted. Yes. Yeah. So the next step is is that we debated on whether or not holidays defined benefit time is considered hours worked. I've always taken the position that it is. I think the consensus was here that it is. That's been relayed to the sheriff's department that your defined benefit time, whether it is vacation, holiday, is considered. Although that was taken work. off the table. I mean, we, we're not asking for them to make any changes. So that was taken off the table. The only things on the table is, is five, four, and four, and converting your time to hours. If we were to make an adjustment on converting time to hours and look what that cost is and had an equal dollar figure reduction in a general fund, hmm. would that be compatible? Would that be something the council would consider? Well, I think it's to rest. Well, I, I to yeah, our bargaining you just said talk about the if, if I could yeah, sure. say some. Um, and I've not been part of the negotiations, but I think it's, I think one of the bigger parts of this and correct me if I'm wrong, but in discussions with Randy and some of the other council members, you know, what we have as a county council, we're the fiscal body here for the county. And it's not like we can go to the state and ask for more money. There's a maximum levy that we can, there's only so many dollars that we can allocate to things. But I think one of the biggest things is, you know, we're not opposed to paying, but there needs to be offsets in that so we can balance our budget here as a county. And I think that there's room to do that, but is there other offsets for that? Am I correct in saying that? Yeah, and, and Madam Chair, if I can just clarify real quick, you mentioned in your statement early on when the first request was made to us, uh, we put everything on the table. So there was not an attempt to defund pensions in any way. It was an attempt to look at the entire compensation package to see where we have opportunities to create balance within that package to meet the request the Sheriff's Department made, which was a very high request. We took the request seriously. We've taken every request seriously. And the compensation package, when uh, Council Lady said uh, the president made uh, the comments about uh, the, the Sheriff's Department being one of the highest compensated. So overall with pension, Lake County Sheriff's Department of as of 2023 was Number three in Lake County. Based on the W two. Just one second, Sheriff, if I could. Uh, and and from a pay a base pay standpoint, they're number four. Also was provided to the council in our packet of information was uh, 
this is the last report that we were able to to pull that uh, the the pension system here in Lake County, and again, we're we're proud of uh, what we provide here. And this was done before I I took office, but um, this is from November fifteenth, twenty twenty two. That the average lump sum payout for the uh, pension is an estimated six hundred thirty one thousand dollars. So again, we're we're happy that those things occur, but I think it's important. When we consider this, we have to look at at the entirety of compensation and, and not just one particular line item. Yes, um, the if it's the five four four and it's about the hours eight hours uh, on days off, then uh, we I have a solution to pay that that won't affect my budget. That we have it with our fees that we get through civil. Uh, we estimated the cost of being around seventy five thousand dollars. That's not a problem. So if I can cover it, I think then what it should be taken before the the membership and voted on. And I think we should be fine then, right? If it's just the hours, eight hours. If everything else was taken off the I table. I'm in agreement on about I, I, have, I have a question. This madam madam president. Yes. So this is administrative what what you do with this the fees that come in but that, uh, okay, that we this is a different question. So if if vacation days are or personal days are paid out based on the shift they work and if overtime currently is being applied daily if they take let's say 5 vacation days in a week and that accrues 60 hours for it would take them 60 hours to try to get overtime but, when they're working and being held. So, so if they come in the next week and we're accruing that time, they're starting at 60 zero. hours. Well, they're starting at zero. But if it's within the two week pay period, this within is the two week pay period, here, here's a couple of things. If you take a week off. The entire week that you've been off, if you come in and you're being held, you're not going to get that overtime. And my understanding was you took that off the table, right? Councilwoman, that's off the table. None, none so, of that's so, been put in writing. Right, just, I get it, but she said it was off the table that we're in good faith trying to get this done. The other thing is, this is, is that the day first for time day. I've heard that. Okay, well, the first, it didn't come from me though, it came from her. All right. Wait, no, so, that's the first time I've heard that from you. Well, we had that discussion in our meeting. The, we had that people. discussion in our meeting with the chief. And we went and broke it down step by step. When you're talking about eight hours or twelve hours, our, we're not the highway department. Is that it's so it's very dynamic? The sheriff's department. For one day, you could be transferred from patrol to an eight-hour shift of uh, the bureau or, or narcotics, or back into patrol. Uh, if you're working six A to two uh, P, and I'm working six A to six P, we're both going fishing. We're taking Monday off. It's a day. It's a day. We're taking that day off. Yeah, but I'm, one gets paid 12 hours, one gets paid eight hours. You're that's off that's day. different. You're getting, they should be treated you're fairly. Not getting paid that that's not fair compensation. I, not, I, I'm gonna I okay. believe, well anyway, yeah. I have the I have the funds that would not yeah. affect taxpayers. This is through fees paid to the civil division to cover the eight hours for the 12 yeah. hour shift. Madam officer. President. Yes. Um, if I can ask you, so based on just some estimated calculations over the three year contract. A five, four, and four puts us a couple of percent out of the levy growth quotient max for that three year period. Uh, is there a space within your budget to sustain somewhere, somewhere between 375 and 400,000 of permanent adjustments to balance that? That, that um, where we uh, pay, our, we have plenty of funds there in our pension to cover that. We pay the max, and we've been doing very well with our pension, and we got the minimum. Somewhere in the middle, we'll cover everything. I, I, I recommend it. I appreciate this because it's the first time that, yes. that that's We have that. Been laid we're ready out. to do it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Madam President. Well, that sounds like a good solution, Mr. Curie. Sorry. <laughs> Madam President. Yes. If what the sheriff have just provided, I would like to see a copy of those things where if he can um, save those dollars within his budget with the fees collected, I would like to see it. I think we're pretty close. Um, I would like to see us not just give away, but get them a contract also. Yeah. Um, the Lake County Police Department is a very good department. I always have given you all praise for what you all do and you continue to do. I will support a raise, but I will support a raise only making sure that your contract is in place also. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you. Anyone else? I, I don't know. I might get my ass jumped later, but I got to <laughs> say this. I think what they're requesting is pretty damn reasonable. I, I, I just got to say that. I, uh, 
Madam Chair, yes. I, I, I agree with you, Dave, that that but this is the first time in this meeting today that we've heard Sheriff Martinez say that he has the ability within even pension contributions to create foundational sustainability for this. None of that has been discussed prior to today. So if that had been discussed prior to today, we might not even be here. So reasonable heck, I, I thought I thought not not the pension reduction. Yeah. That, the pension reduction is well, right. That's the tier. The tier, right? Right. We did discuss that. All right. So yeah, it wouldn't affect the pension. It would not affect the right. that clear. Sir. So you and I get that. So with that being presented, I think any request that is balanced is reasonable. Mm -hmm. Even the 12, 8, and 8 they were originally requested, we took it seriously to see if it could be balanced. Mm -hmm. And it was something that at that time we just could not find the mathematical equation to make it balanced. So what the suggestion is sounds good. If you guys are prepared, was there a chance that you guys would just meet maybe after the meeting here and get some handshake and uh, let yeah. these folks get on with their day and put it move forward? Is everybody available to meet and just talk briefly? I don't think Tony overholds. Yeah. We we don't have a Department of Labor for municipal workers in the state of Indiana. It's a trying shame we're not in Illinois with that, but Right. We don't have to have an attorney for everything we do. We right. can sit here. These are our employees. These are our friends. These are our colleagues. We well, we're having to sit down and talk. And I think we can do it right after the meeting. Mm -hmm. I know Councilman Brown volunteered. I'd be willing to mediate the meeting. Well, we, we, we're we're yeah, having this. I'd like to get this thing over with. If we can do it today, get it over with today and uh, let everybody go back. It'd have to be whatever offer was made has to come back to the rank and file for ratification. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it'd be great if we can get started on it. Not, prolong this thing any longer. I'll contact uh, President Merchek after this meeting. Thank yeah, you. and, and uh, Ma Madam Chair, I, I would be available if that is your pleasure to do exactly that. Um, I also agree with you, Ted, we don't need an attorney for everything. Uh, we, hey, we did make that attempt. <laughs> yeah, no, no disrespect, Tom, you do fine. So um, what, whatever the pleasure is of you yes, and, uh, and Mr. Merchek, I'll uh, be happy to uh, oblige. Okay, anyone else public comment? Public comment, I'll entertain a motion to refer to. Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion to remain and seconded. All in favor, signify by aye. 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 aye.